welcome back. Why, what was that? <laughs> well, Jason, speak English here. If you're heading to a Thanksgiving dinner, you may be wondering what kind of wine you should bring. You have four wines that go with every crowd and every style of Thanksgiving. Give it up to explain all of this is our wine diva from Amuse Wine, the Leslie Miller, everybody. <laughs> the. 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 First of all, let me just compliment you as I try to often. Uh, oh. That is a lovely fall shirt you're wearing. Thank I love that. You. It's a very nice pattern thing going Thank on there. Thank you. I thought there was a turkey somewhere on here. But nope, that's no, a, a dove or something. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, what do we have today? All right, so you really just need four wines to kind of go with everything just on the four? table. That's it. Okay. Okay, well, so, you know, the Macy's Day Parade is always something quintessential in my household, which does come with cinnamon rolls. And so you do have to have some sort of a rosé, sparkling rosé. Okay. Anywhere around the world and make it dry. This literally should be on tap at my house right now. Yeah. This is my one I of my I wouldn't mind that either actually. Yeah. <laughs> we could share. Yeah. So this is Chardonnay, Chenin Blanc and Pinot Noir. So if folks have been watching our segments, they yes. know that the, we put this into the right glass. That's right. This is this the looks The burgundy glass. Yeah, if you miss that episode, you're freaking out right now because yep. you're like Jason, Leslie, this is not a uh, this champagne is, flute. This is not right? a champagne flute, but this is what you should be drinking. That's right. Your champagne out That's of. That's right. Yes. So the roundness of this really kind of goes with everything. So if you're doing that quintessential brunch in the morning, this is fantastic. Fantastic. It goes with pancakes, bacon. It goes with cinnamon rolls. The whole thing. You can also move this in through the entire dinner, mm. and it will go with everything, including the turkey. Oh, this will. Yes. Also, you should always bring a bottle of sparkling rosé as a gift. It's the best to give as a hostess gift or host gift. I I will agree. Yeah. I yeah. it's it, it's it's an easy one too. If it people is. were wondering, that's it it, it'll satisfy and everybody. And this is like seventeen, eighteen dollars. Crushing it. Next, um, crushing okay. it. Crushing it. Crushing it. Okay. Now this is the secret weapon of Thanksgiving. I'm. Yes. I'm I'm holding the secret yeah, the weapon secret to your weapon. Thanksgiving. So, yeah. this grape, and I know Thank you, audience. That was appropriate, yeah. <laughs> we've talked about this grape before from different producers, but this is the grape Viognier. Say it again. Viognier. Viognier. Yeah, Viognier. Wait. You have to stick your chin out. Uh, do I? No. V oh, I thought you said <laughs> Viognier. Viognier. Yeah. So, this is a medium-weighted white grape. Okay. Um, so it's not light bodied like Pinot Grigio. It's not full body, body like Chardonnay. This is right in, it's like the Goldilocks of a white wine. Okay. Okay. It's dry, but it has this beautiful kind of dried pineapple honey tone to it again, but it's not sweet. It's hundred percent dry. Okay. Cause I don't like, you know, yeah. I know you don't. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. mm. Yum, that is yum, very Goldilocks. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Yeah, it's that so is, good. That is very, yeah, that's, that's good. so good. This is. Right. Oh. You're right. Mm -hmm. Not sweet at all. Nope. That is a really good. So that is squash, mashed potatoes, stuffing. Again, the turkey. This one right here. Vignette if you're goes with everything. And again, as I always like to remind folks, we're going to post this on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can write it down uh, when you rewatch it, and then we have the replay today at three. Yep. Now, um, everybody likes a light-bodied red, something like Pinot Noir. We've always been talking about Pinot Noir for Thanksgiving. I really like Italian grapes that are lighter for Pato. Is actually very inexpensive, like twelve dollars from um, actually Sicily. But the other, I think, kind of like secret weapon red is the grape Garnacha or Grenache. So another medium weighted red. Um, this one's from a really cool producer um, who's been making wine in Spain for a very long time. Um, another really cool gift because it's outside of the United States, basically. Yeah. So kind of, I'm. I, I tell a lot of people right now, ABC, anything but Chardonnay or Cabernet, for Thanksgiving. Something different. Something different. Something different. Yeah. Because so this is Grenache. This is Grenache. Grenache. And in Grenache. Spain, they okay. call it Garnacha. Garnacha. And, and so it's kind of again, Garnacha. it's like Garnacha. <laughs> Garnacha. Welcome to my home. Here Garnacha. is my Garnacha. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Okay. That's how I greet everyone when they come into my house. That's here, right. Here is my, here is my, my garnacha. garnacha. That's right, yeah. So the. <laughs> you keep your garnacha to yourself. I, but, uh, I try, <laughs> yes, yes. No, I'm this is gonna, good. This is I'm good. I'm not going to drink that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so juicy um, raspberry, mm. strawberry, again, Ooh. but dry. 
oh, and a that, little bit spicy. Oh, this is re this mm -hmm. is really good. Yes. Yeah, love, yeah, love, I like love. that. So again, great with like roasted, but also grilled turkey, deep fried turkey, because we know like Minnesotans do those weird things to those to their turkeys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the last thing that you absolutely need, and I made an entire pumpkin pie out of this last night. Of course you did. Yes, I yeah. did. What there is was, this? There's always booze and baking at my house. Okay. <laughs> so this is vermouth. Now, everybody always talks about the vermouth that you put into a martini. Yeah. But there's vermouth made around the globe um, from different grapes. So it is grape based, like wine, um, but it's aromatized with different spices, flowers, herbs, florals, things like that. Um, and this is, again, it's kind of spicy, it's rich, and you can have this on the rocks. But you know what I did to my pumpkin pie last night? What? Is I added two tablespoons of that in the mix. Yeah. And then threw that into the oven, and it gave you this depth and texture to my pumpkin pie that's like nothing else. It's, uh, I don't love vermouth, but that is really good. Yes. Add that to your pie, everybody. Yes, absolutely. Give it up for Leslie Miller, everybody, for more information. Head to Leslie's website, amusewine.com.